The Great Debate, Bodyweight Exercises or Free Weights, which one is better? Now there are avid people in both camps that adamantly believe that their method is very clearly the better option of the two. Some go as far as saying that doing the other is absolutely pointless. Now we know of course that that's just not true. There are many examples of individuals in both camps that have gotten great results in aspects of fitness such as improving strength and muscle growth. The thing is anyone that tells you to avoid doing one or the other for whatever reason does not know the full benefit of the alternative. Truthfully yes, one can be better in some ways than the other. Bodyweight exercises aka calisthenics are better suited to improve functional movements that are used in daily life. After all, the whole basis of calisthenics is to move your body through space without any restrictions. Free weights on the other hand are mainly static loads where you stay in a single place and manipulate the weight from point A to point B. For example, if you want to improve your capabilities of moving more fluidly through a rocky environment such as on a hike, stair runs and box jumps would be better suited than improving your squat. However, free weights have an advantage when it comes to simplifying progression. If you wanted to build strength, you simply have to lift heavier weights. This goes the same for building muscle by increasing volume through increasing reps, sets, or load. If you watched my video about calisthenics, I stated with much backlash that bodyweight exercises are simply not as easy to improve strength and muscle growth, and that remains true. Calisthenics progression is much more technically complex than your standard add-on more weights progression. Take the push-up for example, where the most common progressions are raising your feet off the floor, dips, or single arm push-ups. For free weights, you can similarly progress in a dumbbell bench press simply by lifting heavier dumbbells. For your average Joe that simply wants to get a stronger chest, free weights clearly require less learning effort. There are also other advantages in both camps. Bodyweight exercises for the most part is absolutely free. Free weight exercises require you to either purchase weight equipment or a gym membership. For calisthenics, you can always go to a local park that have calisthenic bars to exercise. At the very most, you can purchase things like a pull-up bar or a suspension training system if you want to work out from home. A winning advantage of free weights is being able to target specific muscle groups. Because calisthenics consists of many natural and functional movements, which is usually a good thing, it requires that multiple muscle groups are targeted at the same time. However, there are cases where you do want to isolate a specific muscle in a workout, and a great way in doing so is by using weights. Whether it's because you want a particular muscle to be stronger or larger, or because you're recovering from an injury, isolation movements are achieved best with weights. Speaking of injuries, many calisthenics enthusiasts will tell you to avoid free weight exercises because it's easier to get hurt. Now on paper, it might make sense since free weights require you to lift heavy loads and put a lot of stress on your muscle, tendons, joints, and ligaments. But the fact of the matter is, with a proper training program and learning proper form, there will hardly ever be a time where you'll place yourself in danger of getting hurt. The only times would be if you're trying to lift a weight that is clearly out of your capabilities or that you're performing an exercise with improper form. And that goes the same with bodyweight fitness. Try to do a movement that you're physically not capable of doing or do a movement the wrong way, you can just as much hurt yourself as well. So with all this being said, which one is actually better? Well, as boring as this may sound, it all boils down to it depends. If your goal is to pack on muscle fast without much learning effort, free weights are for you. If you want to improve your capabilities of moving your body through space rather than pushing big things around, then calisthenics are the way to go. It also depends on what you enjoy doing more. Some people simply like moving big heavy weights around, and some people enjoy working out in the fresh air free of weights limiting their body movement. And the thing is, even though each have advantages, it doesn't mean that the other can't be good at it too. Even though free weight exercises seem to be the better option for building strength and muscle, there is no doubt that calisthenics can be pretty much limitless in these aspects as well, as long as you're willing to dedicate some work to it. And that's the catch for most. Most people just want to be healthier or look slightly better than they do now. Yes, doing something like push-ups and pull-ups can be beneficial to the average person, but things such as flag poles or front levers mean very little to them. But if that's what you want to be able to do, then by all means do it. 
And that goes the same for free weight training. Many of your standard calisthenic movements can be done with weight added to it, which technically transform them to a free weight exercise. But of course, we're talking about the typical exercises done in a gym. Leg presses and back rows are great for pretty much anyone, but the majority of people don't care to deadlift 500 pounds off the floor. But again, if you're into something like powerlifting, then it's completely reasonable to start stacking plates on the bar. Ultimately, the best thing that you can do for yourself is do both. As we can see, they both have great advantages that anyone can benefit from, so why limit yourself to just one? Do both and reap the benefits of both. Or do one, it's up to you. What are other benefits that separate calisthenics and free weights? Share in the comments below. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.